Hello everyone, I'm Tigger. On this channel, we show family-rated movies based on games like these, starring these characters and many more. Please consider subscribing to be notified every time a new chapter is released. Just click on my picture down there. So on with tonight's feature presentation. Hello, ma'am. Is everything going well so far? Yes, everything is fine. Do you know when we'll be served? Hmm. In about 15 minutes. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is there anything you need? What's the current temperature in Tahiti? Our latest readings show it's currently 100 degrees. Great. I can hardly wait to dive into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? It seems my seatbelt is stuck. Could you please help me? Of course. Great. Thanks a lot. Wow, Amber. You're doing a great job. Thanks, Elise. I'm doing my best. Karen asked me to help out in business class. Can you handle things on your own? Sure, no problem. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Is this normal? There seems to be a lot of turbulence. Don't worry. Everything is under control. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, miss. Is everything okay? It's just some turbulence. Everything will be fine. Amber, could you come here, please? What's going on? Look at the sky. We should have flown around the storm. The right wing and the fuselage have been hit. Brace yourself. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you doing? Did you get the flowers? Of course, Mom. I'd be happy to help. Don't worry, I can do both. I'll still be on time for the exam. I got it. It's the least I can do. After all, I wouldn't even be taking these exams if it weren't for you. No, no, I know. I'll try not to worry too much. Bye, Mom. Love you.
Amber Hope. Just the person I was looking for. You're running a little late, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a little family matter to take care of. Hmm, you're right. Family does come first. But we need to manage our priorities and take care of our own lives too, right? Especially now that you're taking your exams. Gotta make a good impression. I believe in you, Amber. I think you'll do great, as long as you stay focused. Thanks, Hank. And sorry for being late. It won't happen again. Already forgotten. Let's get to work, shall we? Another weekend of rain. And now, over to Tina to talk politics. Ugh, let's not talk about politics. I'd rather talk to you than watch the news, Sushi. You look hungry, little guy. Don't look at me like that. I know I'm procrastinating. Yes, you're right. I need to get back to work. I just need to write a bit in my diary first. Hey, just wanted to wish you luck in your exams. Thanks. I got this. I'll do my best. You know me. I can't wait for you to finish your exams. I bet you'll do amazing. Thanks, Elise. I certainly hope so. I know so. Well, at least that makes one of us. Now, now, I'll hear none of that. You know your stuff. You'll do great. You're right. I can do this. Of course you can. We'll be owning the sky together in no time. Sounds like a dream come true. Ooh, I can't wait. Anyway, good luck, and I'll see you after the exams. Right. I'd better get some studying in before tonight's exam. Oh my god, I'm going to be late. No, my heels. My test is in five minutes. What am I going to do? Hey, it's okay. We'll figure it out. What size are you? What size what am I? Your shoes, of course. What size are they? Maybe you can borrow mine? Seriously? That would be amazing. I'm an eight. These might be a tiny bit small, but I think they should work. You're a lifesaver. Hold on. I'll need those back as soon as you're done. Of course, I promise. I'll bring them right back. I'm Amber, Amber Hope, 
don't forget. She'll come back, right? How could she possibly forget? Well, I don't think she's coming back. I wonder. Break the second heel to make ballerinas. That's the best I can do for now. Amber Hope, we're ready for you next. Thanks for coming in, Ms. Hope. We'll get right to it. That's an interesting choice of footwear, I have to say. Hey, Amber! Oh, hey, Elise. So, how'd it go yesterday? Talk to me. Well... Not so great, actually. I had to take the exam with a broken heel. Oh, that's the worst. But I bet you did great anyway. I hope so. To be honest, I'm feeling a little nervous about all these exams. I can hardly concentrate. I know exactly what you need. What are those? They're called Chillax. They're great for calming your nerves. Oh, well, um, no thanks. I'll be fine. Suit yourself. David. Hey, Amber. I was just passing by, and I figured I'd... <clears throat> well, it's nice to see you, too. Listen, I just wanted to check in about your exams. How are things going? Well, that's an interesting story. Amber. They just announced the exam results. And? Well, you can see for yourself. Ooh, I can't even look. I'm too nervous. Just tell me what it says. Well, I'm sorry to say that. I can take it. Just spit it out. It says here that you... Passed! No way! Congratulations, Amber. Though I must admit, I'm not surprised. Right. I've got a flight leaving soon. I just wanted to give you the good news. We should celebrate. Dinner and drinks are on me, if you have the time. Definitely. How about tomorrow night? Perfect. I'll see you then. Our on-time departure rates are pretty high, but they could be even higher. And leaving on time usually means arriving early, which increases customer satisfaction. Exactly. So we should focus on getting the plane prepped earlier. We'd leave on time a lot more often if the passengers would get here earlier. Amber, I didn't expect to see you here. Sorry to interrupt, sir. I just need to grab my employee badge from my locker. Everyone, this is Amber Hope. One of the top applicants for the flight attendant opening. Hey, nice Amber. to meet you, Amber. Good luck. Nice to see you, Amber. Good luck on your exam. 
Thanks, Hank. All right, let's get back to it. Hey, what kind of food should we get tonight? Um, helping customers. Let me think about it. How about Italian food? Too heavy. Maybe sushi? Nah, we shouldn't insult your roommate. Aha! How about you surprise me? Something casual. Something casual? I'm on it. Perfect. So you never finished your story about your exam? Long story short, I'm probably the first airline applicant to show up in broken shoes. Broken shoes? That's a thing? It's a thing when you wear heels. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you did great anyway. You've always been able to think on your feet. Ever since we were kids, you always knew exactly what you wanted. I like that about you. I bet Noah would be proud of you. You're chasing your dreams. I don't want to talk about Noah, David. How many times do I have to tell you that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's just... It's just insensitive and unnecessary to bring him up right now. Can I interest either of you in dessert? We've got some fantastic specials tonight. No, thanks, Emily. The food was delicious as always, though. Thank you very much. Oh, well, okay. I'll be right back. I'm sorry for getting angry. It's just... I understand. Shall we? It'll be cold in Montreal. Did you bring some warm clothes? Of course I did. You don't need to tell me how to pack. Yeesh. I'm just saying. It's a pretty city. Amber, right? That's me. And I think it's Karen, right? The senior flight attendant? I am. Right. Nice to meet you officially, Karen. Good luck on your exams. Thanks. Have a safe flight. Hey, sorry about last night. That was insensitive of me. No, it's okay. I probably overreacted a little. Well, let me make it up to you anyway. Are you free the night before your exam? Definitely. But it'll have to be an early night for me. How about I come by your place and we eat together? That way you can keep studying. That's really sweet. How could I say no to that? It's a date. See you then. Miss Hope, a package for you. I believe in you, Amber. I know you'll make me proud. You always do. Love, Mum. P.S. These vegetables are fresh from the garden. I thought a good meal might help you on your tests. Do you believe in me, Sushi? I don't know what I'll do if I fail. Mum sacrificed so much 
so I could be here. I don't want to mess it up. What if her sacrifices are all for nothing? And I'm talking to a fish again. Okay, work time. Hey, girl with the shoes. Well, I was, until I gave them to you. Thanks again. You really helped me out. Sorry I didn't bring them back. Some friends took me out right after the test. By the time I remembered they weren't my shoes, I was in a nightclub. At this point, you may as well keep them. I heard you passed anyway, so it all worked out. Well, thanks again, and good luck on the rest of your exams. Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry to say you failed this portion of the test. What? Why? Simple. You need to help yourself before you can help others, Ms. Hope. Where's your oxygen mask? You're a strong candidate, Miss Hope, but this is a very competitive program. You'll need to stay focused in your final exam. Good luck! You have to help me. What happened? Are you okay? It's my arm. I think I'm having a heart attack. Pretty sure your heart is on the left for starters. Let's try not to jump to conclusions. Honestly, I don't see much of a problem here. I think it's just a bug bite. Maybe a spider? I hate spiders. There's so many different <laughs> kinds that can poison you. Is it still there? I read about... Hey, calm down. Don't worry about it. It's too late now anyway. You're gonna be fine. Adrian, what are you doing? We need you in the meeting room right now. Right, of course. Sorry, I thought I was having a... A conversation with me. He was giving me some advice for my test. Okay. Well, I guess you're not essential for this meeting anyway. Thanks for the help, Amber. Can I stay with you this afternoon? No problem. I got you. Amber, I baked some cookies last night. Would you like one? Can't say no to that. Thanks. Still short a few people. We're on it. Hank, did you make cookies again? Guilty as charged. I blame you for my waistline, Hank. Well, I blame <laughs> myself for mine too. So we've got something in common. All right, everybody. Grab a cookie and pull up a chair. Let's get to work. We need to talk about our last landing. Yeah, I nailed it. I wouldn't go that far. Planes pretty much fly themselves these days. Not you, Kyle. I saw unfastened seatbelts, a number of tray tables down, one passenger even had an open drink. I had to address each of these myself. Nobody's perfect, I understand that, but mistakes in our line of work can have serious consequences. Karen's right. This is important work. We need to stay focused and set a strong example for our new crew members. Got it? Good. Now let's get back to work. Nice work, Karen. It takes courage to provide constructive criticism. 
You're a natural leader. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Hank. Dear Ms. Amber Hope, we are excited to invite you to the final round of our selection process. Based on the results of this exam, we will be selecting our final candidate for the open flight attendant role. This final stage will proceed as laid out below and requires swimwear. Please arrive 15 minutes early to check in. We look forward to seeing you there. A bathing suit? Why would I need a bathing suit? Swimming is not my thing. I don't even have any swimwear. I'm going to have to figure something out. Elise, I need a favor. Of course. What's on your mind? So, I don't own a bathing suit, and apparently I'll need one for my exam. Oh, sure. That's easy. What size? Six, I think. Not sure. Perfect. That was my size. Well, before the kids. Hey, Sushi. Want to finish these exams for me? Apparently swimming's on the agenda. Amber, I was just about to go grab that bathing suit for you. I think it'll suit you just fine. I used to love swimming, and then I had kids and forgot what hobbies were. Do you ever go swimming? I mean, can you swim? No, I mean, yes, I can swim, but I don't go swimming. Right, well, good luck then. I'm sorry, Elise. This is so sweet, thank you. I'm just a little tense. It's a lot of pressure. I understand. Don't worry about it. You've got this, Amber. You know, I have a lot of good accessories, too. Hairnets, goggles, the works. I'll go get them. Grab your guitar, Sushi. I need to let off some steam. Hey there, ready to relax? Oh no, I forgot to buy the food. Well, let's see. How about these? I bet they're from your mom's garden. You know us too well. She only sent those through the other day, actually. I'll cook if you need to study. Nah, that's okay. This last exam is more hands-on. I can handle a bit of cooking. So... Ready to start flying? I'm definitely ready. I can't wait to be a flight attendant. Spending my days traveling the world, seeing amazing things, meeting new people. Meeting new people, huh? I'll get an aerial view of the beautiful buildings you design every time I come home, too. You'll have to tell me how they look from way up there. to your new life and your new perspective on the world. Cheers. Cheers. Morning, Hank. Amber, good morning. So, nervous? Absolutely. I've never wanted anything so badly in my life. Knowing what you want is the tough part, though. You're already way ahead of most of us. It's normal to be nervous, but you'll do great. You're one of the good ones, Amber. 
So are you, Hank. Thanks for the pep talk. Yesterday was really nice. I loved seeing you. I wish you luck, but I know you don't need it. Okay, everybody. Let's get started. This test is quite straightforward. We need to see how you'd cope in an emergency, such as a crash landing on water. Each participant will enter one at a time, and it's up to you to save as many passengers from drowning as possible within the time limit. Remember, stay calm and focused, and you'll be just fine. Sorry, you failed. Great! Congratulations, Pamela! Come on, Amber! Come on! Just do it! Amber Hope, the clock is ticking. You need to save at least three people. No, I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Hey, Mom. Yeah, no, it went really well. I passed. Okay, well, I've got to go now. I'll call you later, Mom. I just... I couldn't tell her the truth, Sushi. I failed. Stop calling me. I just need to be alone. Well, my mom can't leave me be for just two minutes, can she? Hi, Ma. Hank? Sure. I'm on my way. You won't believe this, Sushi. Change the world and never leave the ground All of the promises made Fade into ghosts of heartbreaks Scream inside but you don't make a sound No one will know that you hide While dreaming of touching the sky Take the first step you might find the you that always lived inside. Let it spark and grow like wildfire, just ignite. When there's nothing left, and you take that step, it hurts, but you still try. Join us every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for a new chapter. If you subscribe, you can be notified every time a new chapter is released. So just click on my picture down there. And, as with all creators, we at this channel love feedback. So consider liking or disliking our videos. And leave a comment. 
because Tiggers just love comments. Ta-ta for now.